Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can take a green screen video and replace the background in DaVinci Resolve using a Delta keyer in the Fusion tab. So the whole point of having the green screen is that we are able to keep these objects in the shot even while it's moving, but anything that is green will be replaced with the background, obviously. And the best way to remove the green part is going to be a Delta keyer to target those green areas. So over on the Fusion tab, we're able to add a Delta keyer in between our media in and our media out so that the final output will have this background removed. And then we can add in a second media input to become the new background that replaces this green area. So on the Fusion tab, the first node that we're going to need to put right after media in is the Delta keyer. So if we right click on the line, we can go down to Add Tool and then Matte. In Matte, you'll have different types of keyers, but the one we want is Delta keyer. So assuming you right click down the line, this should be immediately added as an in-between connection between media in and media out. That's what we want for right now. So we need to select a background color, which is going to be keyed out in this video sequence. If you have a perfect green screen, then it will be really simple. You'll simply need to go over and select a green color, either using the eyedropper tool or manually selecting a green. That is approximately what you have in the background. And then all of that green will be replaced by transparency. If your green screen is a little bit off, maybe it has a little bit of shadows here and there, variation in colors, then there will be settings on the following tabs that you can play around with a little bit in order to make sure that it's selecting the green, none of the object, and having as little of a border in between them as possible. So you want to avoid having like a green edge showing that it was obviously green screened out. So here, probably due to um, an unideal color selection, we can see that there's a little bit of a uh, brown border here on the edge between this rock and what's outside of it. So one setting I could play around with there would be the threshold. So I could increase the low threshold in order to remove some of that brown bordering and have it look more like just the object is on top of things. But in order to make sure that we have a perfectly matching color selection there to get as good of a results as possible, I'm going to use the eyedropper tool here. So to use the eyedropper, you need to press and hold on this and you will get this eyedropper which you just drag onto where you want it to filter out. And you'll notice that as you go around the screen, selecting colors, it'll show you exactly how it's gonna look after you select that color. So I will drop it on there and grab exactly the green of the background. We can see there's a little bit of border still on this rock and uh, maybe over here as well. So still going back to the matte tab and adding a little bit of low threshold should be able to take care of that white border around the edges. So now to make sure that it looks good at this point, I'm going to go back to frame zero and play this clip for a few seconds. Uh, note how none of the green shows through. That's what we're looking for, ideally. Now we can add in our background media. So if we click on media pool on the top left of the Fusion tab, uh, any files you've brought in to be videos in this project, you can drag in and it will become Media 2. So I'm going to take this forced video and pull that in as Media 2. Uh, to show you what that looks like, I'll let it preview in the left side here by clicking on the dot and making that white. So now we just need to merge these two together. So the background is going to be this video, which means that needs to be the yellow connector, the first one to go into the merge node. and Following that will be the original video clip, the media in, which will go on top of that. So I'm going to right click, add tool, go to composite and choose the merge node. Now we need media two to go in first. Note that that's the yellow connector. And the delta keyer will be the second node. So now those should be merged on top of each other if I show that on the right view. And this merge node can go to the final media out, which will be what shows in the final video. But if I go back to frame zero and hit play now, we can see that the green screen has been successfully replaced with the forest background. Uh, the rocks are still spinning there, so this is a composition of two different shots. And if we go back over to the edit tab, we'll be able to see that these changes are reflected across the project. And this is what you would get with your final video export. So that's the gist of how you do a Delta key green screen inside of DaVinci Resolve 16, replacing the background with a completely new one. So that's going to be it for this video. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my future video content.